And while the motive for the attack remains unclear, some students are claiming that gunman was bullied. And of course, that resonates with South Charleston students who made a special effort to teach their classmates about the consequences of bullying. Jordan Burgess shows you exactly what they're doing. Jordan? Bullying can come in many forms, so those students decided on a unique form of their own to get the message across that no matter how you do it, bullying is wrong. There are two students who spent three months and countless lunch hours filming a pair of videos. But when they finally unveil them to students tomorrow, you won't hear them utter a single word in either one. We thought that if we could make a video, we could reach out to not only our school, but a greater audience. They may not speak in their videos on bullying, but Tyler Gregory and Scott Hanna are far from silent on the topic. We started looking for bullying and we realized there was actually a lot. So they created two videos, one a tribute to those who were bullied to the point of taking their own lives. The other a look at the pain bullying can cause using signs, students, and a song, an original written by a family friend of Scott's. Just another day of bullying and pain. Even though they don't feature any talking, Scott and Tyler hope when their fellow students watch the videos on Wednesday, they'll speak volumes about the impact of bullying. I see it all the time and it, it's terrible because you put yourself in their shoes and it's a place that you don't want to be. I think it'll change people's minds and I think next time they write something on Facebook, they'll think twice. And I recommend checking out the full videos if you get a chance. We have a link to them on our website, WDTN.com. Just look for web links on the home page. And the two videos are entered into the Great American No Bull Challenge, a national contest. You'll be able to vote for them to be among the finalists starting March 15th. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.